Now, the difference between this video, the information conveyed here, and the information conveyed here is light years apart. And I fully realize that most of you won't get beyond creating a logo, an identity for a business where you've got letter forms and perhaps a mark, perhaps you uh, modify one of the letters. Just don't ever modify the first or last letter, and you only get one trick in a logo. You don't have stars here and, you know, fireworks over here. You get one trick in a logo. Okay, so that's where many of you will end up. And I, I hope you design something professional. But if you spend the time, there's a lot of good branding uh, videos out there. A lot of them are long and involved. Uh, this one's kind of in the middle. It's about 10 minutes long, and he covers a lot of the essentials. Very few of you will hit all 10 of those uh, uh, branding uh, elements, but that's okay. What I want you to understand is the difference between a good and bad logo, and I can't show you because if you look up bad logos, <laughs> we're going to find some school inappropriate imagery. And I just, when you look at it, I want you to look at it as, you know, your you're becoming aware of mistakes that can happen when you kern badly or choose um, to eliminate spaces between words. You'll find a store that used to be in El Cajon on Mollison. And I think it was Mollison in Washington. I think it's where the smell of Dubai is now. Uh, I'm not sure. But uh, you will see the kids exchange, but when you look at the name, you won't see kids exchange. You'll see something else. Anyway, the point is, I want you to explore branding. And even if it's just creating a logo or a series of logos, and when you present your work, I want you to present them most likely as either landscape or square. I can't imagine portrait working out, but I, I won't eliminate that if that's the best way to present your work. Just keep it consistent, and I will add other videos, and this, this can be a lot of fun, but don't spend all your time in branding because you need the full suite of skill sets. I want to see landscape, portrait, square designs that convey everything that I've already described. I'm not going to go over it again, but branding is a part of this equation. And if all it is, is you create a series of logos or business identities, that works just fine.